Do you know what time it is? It's Bible class time. Come, let's sing Malaika. Tick tock, says the clock. We glad that you are here. Tick tock, says the clock. God is very near. Tick tock, says the clock. It's time for Bible class. Tick tock. Says the clock to love and learn and love. Yay! Bible class time is my favorite time. Well, Malika, should we have a look at who else is here to Bible class today? Let's have a look. Let's look up there, up there. Mm, no. Let's look this side. Oh, there's no one there. Welcome to Bible Class. So excited to have you join us today. Today, in Bible Class, we are going to learn about a great leader called Timothy. Can you say Timothy? Well done, boys and girls. Well, before we learn more about Timothy, we are going to sing our Bible word song. That's correct. Should we sing, Malaika? Are you ready to clap your hands? Yes, are you ready to clap your hands? Let's sing. Bible words, Bible words. Thank you, God, for Bible words. It's the truth for all to read. Thank you, God, for Bible words. Yay! Bible words song is my favorite, favorite song to sing with you guys. <laughs> well, right now, we are going to listen, open up our ears, close our mouths, and we're going to learn more about Timothy from one of my leaders. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Church. So I've got a story for you guys in our series this week. Uh, that's known as Lead Like Timothy. And Timothy was just a great, great leader. We can learn so much from him. So Timothy had a leader himself. It was like an older brother to him or like a father, or like an uncle. Just somebody you look up to known as Paul. So one day Paul said to Timothy, Timothy, I need you to be a good example, somebody that other people can look up to, right? And do you know what he said to him? He said, you can be a good example by the words you speak. Do you ever meet people who say some crazy stuff, who speak bad words? I'll tell you guys a story real quick. One time I went with my friend to visit some people. And so we were having a great time just chilling and talking. And then out of nowhere, one of the people started saying some really bad, bad, bad stuff. And so my friend and I looked at each other and went, oh, our mommy and daddy won't be okay with this. We must leave. But we didn't leave. We thought, let's stay. We could lead them like Timothy. But they just kept going. They kept saying more and more and more bad stuff. See, kids, now that I'm older, I feel bad. I wish I could go back and say to those guys, those words aren't good. But I don't have that opportunity. But what I can do is today, I can do much better. With my friends, I can teach them to watch the way they speak. So here's the big question. How do we learn how to lead our friends? Two things. We pray for them and then we praise. We thank God for our friends. So that's what you need to do is um, later today or this week when you're praying with your mommy or your daddy, just say to them, mom, Dad, 
I want to pray for my friend. Maybe you want to pray for your friend and say, name them, call them by name. I have a friend right here, it's Colin. So I'll say to my mommy and daddy, mom, dad, tonight can we pray for Colin? And then pray for them. And when you're done, remember to thank God for your friends. And in that way, you can lead like Timothy. <sighs> I actually think I'm going to call my friend and tell him that I've been praying for him. Bye, guys. Malaika, didn't you like that story? I liked it too. <laughs> well, Malaika, I actually need you to help me with something. And you too, boys and girls. I need you guys to help me pray for my friends that don't know Jesus yet. Okay, can you close your eyes? Can you boys and girls close your eyes while I pray? Lord Jesus, please help all my friends that do not know you yet. Please help them to get to know you through Bible class or by coming to church or by just them listening to a song. Father God, I thank you that you love them and you love me and my like it. Two. Amen. Well done. Okay, Malika, have one more thing. Do you have friends? Do you? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Malika says that yes, she has friends. But sometimes she doesn't like spending time with her friends because sometimes they fight. But Malaika, you know what? What we can learn from Timothy is that we should love our friends and pray for them like we just did and also thank God for our friends. Right? Yes. So right now, we're going to close our eyes again and we're going to thank Jesus for all our friends. You two boys and girls, you can close your eyes and you can repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you so, so much for all my friends. Amen. Well done. All right, now you can ask your mommy or your daddy to help you call your friend and tell them that you love them and that Jesus loves them too. <laughs> well, that's all that we have for today. Should we say bye, Malaika? Bye, boys and girls. See you next time. <laughs>